New at six tonight, despite the number of homicides we continually hear about, Memphis police says we made a 3% reduction in serious crimes from 2020 to 2021. MPD discussed their findings and what they're doing to reduce crime even more before the city council today. WRD Shay Arthur was in the meeting and is live tonight with what she found out. And Shay, how did they come up with that percentage? Yes, yeah, so, I mean, these are some interesting numbers that they took a look at here. Part of that breakdown came from comparing the nine police precincts within the city. Take a look here. Taking crimes reported in the neighborhoods of Memphis and breaking it down to Memphis City Council members. Today, Assistant Chief of Police Services Don Crow said violent crime is down about 5% so far in January of this year compared to last year. Violent crime is a compilation of homicides, forcible rape, robbery of businesses, robbery of individuals, and aggravated assaults. According to data he showed to the council today, seven of nine police precincts in the city saw a decrease in reported crimes in 2021 compared to 2020. But two spots, North Main and Downtown, saw a nearly 14% increase, and Appling Farm Station in Cordova saw a more than 11% increase. One of the strategies the department has put in place to try to deter crime is the Scorpion Unit. These officers are not subject to dispatcher's calls. Their job is to identify the target area, flood that area with officers, and suppress crime in that area, mostly by visibility. Just being present and having the officers there, it sees an impact on it. And Stephanie Gregg, so far this year, that Scorpion unit has made more than 300 arrests, 307 to be exact. Nearly 75% of those arrests have been felony arrests. We're live downtown tonight, Shay Arthur, WREG, News Channel 3. All right.